YouTube and welcome to the Premiere Pro tutorial series. So now last time we left off from uh, the basic our layout of the Premiere Pro uh, window. So today we're going to uh, look at how to import the videos and then make a basic cut to the videos. So for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my old project file that I have and before that I want to show you that I actually arranged the project files just like this. So now I actually divided a folder with images, soundtracks and videos that I wanted to use. This is important to be more manageable and make sure that it is all inside one folder called my first edit. So I can go inside the video, you can see I got four videos right here. I got my soundtracks and I got my images right here. So these are the things that I want to use for my edit. So let us go back ahead into Premiere and open up the project file. So I already have my project file open here just for the uh, just for the revision. I want to uh, go to file, just open project right here, then choose the project file uh, from the folder. Let's go to YouTube, my first edit, my first edit, press open, uh, say yes. And then there you go, the project file is open. Since we don't have anything in the project file, we just got an empty canvas right here. So what I want to do when I start editing is I want to import all of the media right here onto the project window. So if you don't see the project window, you can go to Windows and go to project right here. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to import or I can go to file, import or I can even double click over here and then I get my import window right here. So I'm going to import my images. So I have to select this one by one. So go to images, import folder. It uh, imports the images. Uh, there, there's been an error right there. That, that error says that one of the images could not been imported. So it won't get imported if that's the case. Anyways, let's continue. So let's go to soundtrack, import the folder. Let's go to uh, videos and then import that as well. So now what I can do is I can expand this. You might even get a thumbnail view right here, uh, which might look a lot more like this. And you can double click and then explore it that way as well. But I actually prefer the list view, which I can access from right here. I can zoom in and out of these as well to get more clarity over the folders. But I prefer them small because I can see much more of it. So what I want to do is I want to create a sequence right here uh, so that I can edit and cut and paste all the um, uh, footage as I want. So I'm going to go over to new item or I can also go right click uh, and go to new item, click on sequence and I'm going to make sure I select my DSLR for now. We're going to get deeper onto the format later on in the lesson. So just press OK and I get a sequence too. Uh, right here, I can even rename this um, to my first edit to be more manageable and then start editing right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the videos and then arrange it right here. So what video editing basically starts off with is selecting a chunk of uh, footages from the file, video for files and then arranging it uh, in order. So I have my kennel video, I got my morning sky video right here, and this is Planet Hollywood and San Francisco uh, Town Hall video. So once I double click on the video, you can actually see that I can actually play the video just like this. So then uh, what I can actually do is I can uh, play the videos, I can skip forward to it. Uh, let me just go on to the different videos so that it's more clear. So morning sky, okay, Planet Hall. Okay, San Francisco uh, will be more of it. Double click. All right. So I got my video right here. So I can play the video. I can step back for uh, backward or go forward. And I can actually also use my arrow keys, my right arrow key to go forward, back arrow key to go backward. Or I can also use my DKL keys. So if I were to press L, it actually plays. K actually stops, J actually goes backwards. If I press L twice, it actually plays, uh, plays at the twice of speed. And if I press L twice and four times, it goes uh, with the according speed. So now what I want to do is I want to select a portion of each of these videos or portions of each of these videos and then arrange uh, it onto my timeline. 
uh, to start the editing process. So what I want to do is I want to scrub it over uh, and then set the in and out point of the video. So let's say <clears throat> what I want is I do not want the beginning of this video where there's a pan down. I want the video to start from here and then play around and right about here I want to cut this portion right here. So what I want to do is uh, I want to play this or scrub this. Uh, scrubbing is much more easier. So just scrub it just like this and I want this portion right here. So I'm going to set an in point right here which I can uh, you, uh, set by uh, clicking the mark in button or I can press I on my keyboard for in point. So I'm going to press I in my keyboard and you can see the uh, color of the timeline changes and I want the point to end right about here and this is going to be the out point. So what I can do is I can drag this on to my timeline just like this. I'm just going to make sure it's on B1 and A1 right now. And it says, do we want to change the sequence settings? I'm going to say keep existing settings right here. And let me just play this. So you can see just that portion of the video is uh, uh, available over here. And it is accessible to this and this timeline right here. So now what I want to do is I can also select the in point from this portion to this portion and then drag the video right here and arrange it like this. So if I were to play this, you can actually see that the video uh, with the still houses play first and then the pan down actually starts out. So I just rearrange a chunk of video right there. So anyways, I can even delete this. I can just select it and delete it. I can zoom in by uh, dragging on to the uh, scroll bar right here at the bottom and it actually uh, shows that the time uh, actually increases and not the uh, duration of the file again. So what I want to do is I want to select the other chunks of video as well and arrange it in the order that I want. So I can double click on my candle video. So I want to press the in point and the out point, drag it onto this section. What I can also do is I can uh, do the in point output and just drag the video portion of the uh, footage as well. So if I were to drag the video only, you can see that only one layer is filled out because, because this is for the audio layer and this is for the video layer. So I'm just going to delete this for now. I'm going to drag both video and audio layer over there. Go to San Francisco town, in and out, drag it down. So this is how you actually do the basic cutting. And once I play, what you can actually see is that on the second portion of the video in the candle, it does not show full screen. So in order to correct that, I can just right click and then select scale to frame size so that it actually scales because the uh, resolution of the video is quite smaller than our sequence right here. So anyways, let's continue and let it play Go over here. And there you go. So I, I maybe I want to resize the video as well. And if I want to resize the video, I can cut it just over here just by dragging it. What it actually does is it removes the, 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 the portion of the video. And if I were to drag it, the video back out, the removed portion actually comes back. And this is the beauty of uh, editing in Premiere. If I were to drag it all the way to the front, you can see that there's a limit. The panning video actually shows up. So the video is actually not cut but it only hides the portion of the video so that I can edit it well. So now I can resize any video that I want and then rearrange it just like this. So now if you were to see this, now the audio and the video layer both shows up. So these videos actually don't have audio. These are just dummy layers that comes on with the video file. So what I want to do is I want to add in some music over there. So for that, I'm going to go over to my soundtrack. So I can also drag the uh, audio only from uh, the video from this layer right here. So I can just click and drag this part if I want to. So I'm going to go over to the soundtrack. Let me just go to cloud patterns. Let's listen to the music if I like it. All right. So. OK, this is a bit too, uh, let's see. Uh, heavy. Let's go for lucky day. Okay, let's say I want to use this music. 
So I, I want, uh, I can do the same. I can set the in point and out point in the video and then drag the uh, audio onto the timeline. Sorry, I said verb video over there. And you can see that only the audio portion shows over here. So I can uh, set the in point, set the out point, and then drag the audio. I cannot actually drag this now. I actually have to drag this thing right over here or the audio uh, from right over in this section. Or what I can also do is I can go over here, press this thing right over here that's called insert and you can see that the shortcut key for it is comma. So I can insert it and you can see that it actually pushes the other videos, uh, other layers forward and inserts it right there. So if you want to insert a video, extra video somewhere in between, that is actually a very useful function. If I were to do this, overwrite, then it, what actually uh, it does it is uh, it overwrites the previous audio right over there. And if I want both the audio, I can actually arrange it on the second layer or I can drag it and keep it over here. So I'm just going to overwrite this. Uh, let's go for overwrite. Let's resize this and let's play this. And you can see that there's the audio and the video that I want. So it's in the order I want. So this is the first one, second, third and fourth video right over there. And all of these soundtracks are royalty free. They are available in YouTube Creator Studios. So if you don't have um, a free music to use or you uh, are not able to use the music, YouTube provides them for free from the Creator Studio menu. So anyways, so this is how you actually uh, edit a video. So we'll cover up the further lessons on the tools uh, in uh, other lessons right here. So what I want to do is I want to export the video now. So I'm going to go to file. Let me save this so I can edit this later. Uh, so let's save this as my first edit lesson uh, two so that I can continue on from here. And then I'm going to go to file, export, media. Uh, let's not worry about the settings right now. I'm just going to select uh, S.264, which is the standard for YouTube. I can uh, I'll just leave it there. Go to output, let me save it on to uh, my first edit itself. Let me call it export, save, and export. And then it renders it out. So this might take a while to render depending on the number of edits that you made. And since we don't have any effects, it is um, happening quite fast right now. So once, the, once it's done editing, uh, I'm going to go over here Let's see uh, if it has actually exported. So there you go. I got my video and my audio track right there. So this is how you do a basic edit of your video in Adobe Premiere Pro. And so we'll continue on with the further lessons uh, uh, on how to uh, add in transitions and use the tools inside of Premiere Pro. So keep on watching. And as always, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.